Hey everybody, we are here in our country road to take me home. This is more country vlogs. I just want to talk about a couple things. It is extraordinary. All these, this smoke from uh, the Canadian uh, wildfires north of Montreal. It's like, it's like a haze. The last couple days, like I didn't, apparently was not paying attention. And I was like, wow, it looks awfully hazy, but it doesn't, you know, normally with the haziness comes the humidity and... It's just, it's nuts, like, how much smoke is out there, so, yeah. But anyways, we're in Mountville, Pennsylvania, uh, here in Lebanon County. We are making a left on Black Oaks Road. I believe it's Black Oak Road. But anyways, so I wanted to talk about a couple different things. Um, <coughs> first first thing I want to set, talk about is this Millersburg uh get together uh, a couple people had asked me about it it's gonna happen here at some point I've got something sorry about the noise in the background carrying landscaping stuff in a pair apparently something is liking the tippy tap right now so that'll be enjoyable but uh anyways um so it's gonna happen at some point but like I had said before I think my surgery foot surgery is gonna happen probably middle of July maybe towards the end so then we basically become a slave to what happens to the water right now in Pennsylvania Northeast we have not been getting a whole lot of rain that's a problem for the Susquehanna because the Susquehanna gets really really low it's low to begin with but uh, in the area where the ferry boat is they actually have a wall they built there just so it's higher at that point so they can actually sail there uh, unfortunately when the water gets really really low much like the Union Canal uh, which we may be going on this Sunday uh, I'm highly considering going there to complete the journey because we had part one and then the camera did not, died so I'd like to go back and show you guys the tunnel portion uh, just because of how cool that is, uh, the presentation is phenomenal. And I also feel right now would be a good time to do it because I have a feeling the waters are going to wind up getting too low there. So, and that's the thing with Millersburg. I'm a little concerned that we may run into uh, the possibility that the uh, water is just going to be too low at that time period because July into August. When you start getting into that dead of summer, it gets really bad. And they can't sail when, you know, the water's too low. So, I'm going to, I got to get in contact with them, talk to them about it, find out how long they're running in the season. And I had mentioned before in one of the videos that we may consider doing something like another location for the first meet and greet. And then do the Millersburg Ferry at another time. Uh, maybe even that possibly has to wait till next year. I'd love that to be the first one just because of what a cool town it is and just what a cool experience the ferry is. And there's also quite a bit of other stuff. So, you know, for families, if they want to go to Lake Tobias, for instance, it's a cool nature park with all kinds of animals. It's a really neat place to go. Uh, that's just a couple miles down the road down near Halifax. Um, there's the Ned Smith uh, Art and Nature Center. He was a prolific nature artist. He did the Pennsylvania trout stamps. And I think wildfowl, uh, those stamps as well for the hunting licenses and fishing licenses. Uh, his, his artwork is amazing. Uh, so real, so lifelike. He's one of my dad's favorite artists. One of my favorite artists. So uh, it's a cool place. It's right down the road as well right there in Millersburg. Uh, I'd like to involve the Millersburg Historical Association, uh, Historical Society in this somehow, potentially getting us in the rail station there in Millersburg. Uh, we have a couple of YouTubers already that are definitely coming to this when it happens. I'd like to get a bunch more uh, for certain. Just because I think it'd be cool to, you know, have the YouTubers be able to get together, talk, uh, meet one another if they haven't met already because a number of us have met already but some of us haven't 
and then of course you know for viewers and subscribers to have the opportunity to come to a really cool place and uh, also have the opportunity to get to meet some of their favorite youtubers as well so it's it's it'll be a cool event it's something that had been going on uh, Jay from JP videos had organized it originally before COVID hit and then COVID sort of put a, a stinky on it and it stopped and I think they were trying to get it back up again and I'm not sure how well that had gone um, but I'd like to get that going again because I think it's a really cool idea and it's something that just everybody could have fun with but um, yeah it's just this looking around seeing how thick this smoke is right now is just insane I've never I've never seen something like this before because normally over here in the northeast of the United States we don't really have wildfires not not to that degree but it's been so dry um, here in northeast and that would be northeast Canada as well that it's not shocking that we have wildfires but just Apparently right now, Pennsylvania, we're sort of in the corridor between New York City, D.C., which is right down where we are in Lebanon County, um, is where it's the worst right now. Uh, it's apparently going to shift over to like Great Lakes and get really bad over there as well, because I guess the winds are coming from the north and sort of blowing things south and almost a little southwest, if you will. So, I don't know. It's interesting. I've never, like I said, I've never seen something like this before. It's a unique weather development, if you will. But uh, anyways, so that's sort of what the plan is right now. I'd also note there's also a number of really cool covered bridges. I think three right in the area. And my other phone's going off. It's all kinds of noises today. But uh, anyways... Uh, so that's the plan. Uh, this Saturday, I was originally planning on going to Old Anvil Days, which I'd like to try to still do. I just, it depends on work schedule and stuff like that, because some of that stuff right now is a little nuts. Uh, I got to take a break, but it also depends on where parking is with this. Because of where I'm at uh, physically, I really don't want to walk half a mile to go to this thing as much as I want to go I know Lewis is going there from Simply Expo Adventuring Cliff is going to be away uh, but we are going to be doing uh, on the 24th of June Cliff and I are going to be going to uh, I got to invite Lewis yet as well uh, we're going to the Cherry Festival and I think it's sort of like Old Arts Craft Festival on the 24th of June in Schaeferstown, Pennsylvania, historic Schaeferstown. So we're going to go to that, and I'm going to see if some of the other buildings are open, like the Rex Scrambling House. I think it's, that's what it's called, and then they have the uh, museum uh, that I really would love if we could wind out getting in there at some point, and if we could wind out knocking off all three of those things in one day, it'd be pretty neat because it really... It's a good example of what colonial, you know, life was with these museums. It's the homes that are there, the farm, the Schaefer farm, and the Brendel farm are very emblematic of that time period. And it, just to be able to see and be inside buildings like that is just such a neat experience. And it's sort of what I'd like to do more and more with the channel to have more available. It's not going to be what the sole thing is like just going to festivals and doing stuff like that but having the opportunities to go into these places like the that we just did with the historic preservation trust of lebanon is something i think it's it's, it's a cool experience for all of us because it's you know a lot of us with the channel aren't in this general region but have that interest in history and aren't going to be able to make it the whole way to lebanon county pennsylvania to see these things but these buildings very much are the style architectural style and it's what most of those buildings would have generally looked like so to be able to have sort of an inside look to be able to see a living history if you will of what it would have been like then is a pretty cool experience and i will turn it this way i sort of don't like to show people's uh license plates when i'm driving so when i'm coming into 
a red light like this. I sort of like to turn it to the side. But uh, anyways, so that's the plan there. Uh, I'm hoping there's a couple other things. I haven't been able to get out as regularly to film as I would have liked. Just simply because of uh, work right now. I'm working more than I normally have been working. And it's sort of... Uh, I'm just exhausted right now. So... Um, that should slow down. We got another guy starting. So once this guy starts, I won't have to work as much. And I can sort of dial it back and do some of the things that other, other things that I've been doing. And it just like right now, it just sort of is what it is. But I'm happy with where I'm at. I'm happy to be able to be doing something because I feel useful again. But, uh, it is sort of one of those things that your body after I haven't worked for like ten and a half months, so it's nice of that guy to like break down the middle of the road and just sit there and block traffic. But you know, hey, that's fine. But uh, it takes you a while to sort of rebuild your strength, if you will. This is an interesting day. I'm gonna say that. Now I think we got an ambulance coming through, more noises, and that person just literally sits there. There are times, I will be honest, I sort of question humanity. Have we gotten stupider or, and, <laughs> oh, this is not going to work out for this guy. There's a van, he was way too far forward and a truck is trying to turn. Uh, that's why you don't go past the line, buddy. What is this person doing? Oh, people, I'm having one of those moments where you question everything. You're just sort of like, oh, I would never want to be a trucker. But anyway, sorry for the view. It's just sort of got stuck at this light. And now there's another trucker coming in. This is great. All these people, have, you would think they'd be like, I'm an idiot. Oh my gosh, what is this guy? He's literally going to go through a red light now, too. Oh, oh, this guy's now blocking off. Oh, this is this is such a mess right now. The whole... <laughs> the whole light is, like, blocked. Because there's nothing but idiots. It's like, there's nothing but idiots. They're everywhere. Idiots. Oh, we got through. Hopefully we can escape the stupidity and the smoke. But anyways, um... So, this is always, I want to come through here from the other way, so you guys can see the beaver house. we got to visit that at some point, uh, maybe just do a YouTube short and just talk about the house, because it's, Anvil has this historic district, and um, the beaver house is also, uh, I, I can never get the name right, but it's uh, the historic, like, it's the thing, the National Historic Registry of historic places or whatever and buildings the beaver house is built i think in like the early 1820s it might have been it probably is earlier than that i just can't remember the date off the top of my head but it's just a view it's one of the merchants in in the early town and he built this beautiful stone house and it's known as the beaver house but it's not spelled like beaver it's b-i-e-v-e-r i think it's french because there were a number of people like French Huguenots that came here. Because the where we just passed, we went over the bridge. There's the second mill that still exists in Anvil was the Rigel family. And uh, they were French Huguenots. And he had the second mill after Andrew Miller, who's the <coughs> founder of the town. Even though it's actually his son. It's confusing because it's one of those things on the internet. you got to check it two, three, four times. To get the real information because they say Andrew Miller is the founder of the town and he's the guy that bought the original parcel of land that started the town and I guess he drew up plans but his son Abraham Miller is the one that actually laid the town out and he's the one that got together with Adam Ulrich to the north and Abraham Rigel uh, the other mill owner to the east and they formed between their lands they wound up forming what would become Anvil uh, it was originally called Miller's Town after Andrew Miller. Uh, 
but then they renamed it to Anvil, and there's a couple different, we've talked about this a number of times, a couple different trains of thought in that. One would be for Queen Anne, who was awfully, awfully good to the Huguenots, including paying for their travel. Now, the problem is somebody took advantage of that and basically indentured servant, uh, sla- and basically enslaved them in the uh, Scolari Valley in New York. Uh, if you were fortunate and you came in through Philadelphia, you were fine. If you came in through New York, that's apparently where this scam scheme went on, that you had to work off what Queen Anne had paid, which I don't believe was her intention. They just saw they took advantage of it and basically enslaved these people until they could pay off their passage to the New World. But, uh, so she was really revered. So it would make sense because the first two streets in Anvil, uh, east-west would have been Queen Street, which was at that time the main street through the town. Uh, and then King Street, which was the main road north uh, south. And the other thought, which is probably more likely, uh, Andrew Miller's wife's name was Anne. I believe his son Abraham Miller, his wife's name was Anne. And Abram or Adam Ulrich, I think his mother's name was Juliana. And then I think his wife's name was Anne, too. So the thought is that. The town might have been named Anvil because there were so many Anns uh, and named in honor of their wives. Either one, it could be true. Uh, they're both have a uh, you know definite credence to them being the real reason, but you know who knows. But uh, it's just cool bit tidbits of history. But there's a lot of cool stuff coming up for the channel, even with the cast. Uh, I'm really going to be getting the heroines of hometown history, tales of hometown history. Uh, Hometown History's Greatest Inventions. Uh, there's a number of other series that I'm going to be doing. It's going to be quite a bit of audio work. Uh, you don't have to see my ugly face too much, but uh, there's a number of different stuff that I'm going to be concentrating on because I don't want to let the channel sort of fluster for a couple months like this last time. I just got to this stage where I was just so beat down. Sorry about the hand there. It's sort of to a degree... Um, I've like I said a number of times, you almost get a little depressed with your situation because it's been such a long experience of basically going through this nuttiness that you, you just you just get tired and exhausted emotionally and psychologically. And you just get to the point where you're just done. You know, thankfully I'm in a good place now, but uh, it's I just don't want to let the channel get to that stage where it's just sort of silent for a couple months because it sort of killed any momentum that we had because it's really growing and I want to see it get to that stage I want to start traveling more once some of these health issues are solved over the next couple months and then go forward from there uh, but a lot of cool stuff a lot of opportunities trying to film with a couple different other youtubers and I really I'm having a hankering to do some traveling again. You know, it's not going to be far, far, but, you know, I wouldn't mind going to a couple different places and uh, filming and taking you guys some more cool towns and places and talking about really neat history along the way. So, uh, I am going to be coming up to work real soon. We're coming up to another light. I don't feel like filming this person's license plate again. So, I want to say thanks for coming along. This is just another one of those country vlogs take me home and as always we will see you all about town